Hello, my name is Katerina Nikolic and it is my pleasure to present your our article Peroral Endoscopic Myotomy Procedural Complications and Pay Management for the Perioperative Clinician. Patients who suffer from dysphagia, dysfunctional relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter and lack of peristasis of the esophageal body may fit the criteria for ahalisia. Ahalisia historically has been treated with pneumatic dilatation of the distal esophagus, botulinum toxic injections, or surgical treatment, which consists of open of laparoscopic heller myotomy. A new minimally invasive endoscopic procedure to treat achalisia is the peroral endoscopic myotomy POEM procedure. The purpose of this article is to report on our initial experience with perioperative pain management of patients undergoing POEM and to provide a narrative review of POEM complications of interest to anesthesiologists and other perioperative clinicians. We reviewed our anesthetic and pain management experience with the initial 11 patients treated with POEM at our medical center. The medical re record was reviewed for patients' demographics, pre-POEM pain medication use, intraoperative and post-operative pain medication administration, and post-POEM pain scores. All of the patients except one were dismissed from the hospital the next day and one was dismissed on day two. There were no reported procedural or anesthetic complications in these initial 11 patients treated with POEM at our institution. None of the patients required decompensation of pneumocapnoperitoneum and intraoperative ventilation was not problematic, including management of end tidal CO2 and peak airway pressures. During their hospital course, some patients required several classes of pain medications, including opioids, acetaminophen, and non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs. Pain scores over the hospital demonstrating a decline in the pain severity that was in the mild-moderate range throughout in most patients. We performed a search of the medical literature according to the PRISMA guidelines for reported complications of the POEM procedure. 35 manuscripts were included in our review. Our literature review revealed a wide range of potential complications of interest to perioperative clinicians, notably pneumocapnoperitoneum and pneumocapnothorax, but also more serious events like capnopericardium and aspiration. In conclusion, our initial experience with POEM suggests that patients experience mild to moderate pain that is usually managed with modest doses of opioids. Awareness of possible complications should contribute to the best possible outcome for patients. As always, the care team must communicate effectively and remain vigilant for potential adverse events. Thank you.